this will be the first Christmas for Shay and Tamisha without their sons. And we'll never be able to bring these children back for these families. But one thing, one thing that our community can give them is closure. So that's what we're here to do today, is come together as a community and try to offer them closure. So I'm gonna turn um, the mic over now to our chief of police, uh, Chief Ryan Zudema, and he's gonna explain um, and introduce uh, a representative from Crime Stoppers to explain more about how this process can work. Good morning. If you look behind me, this is what coming together as a community looks like. There are folks from all walks of life, from different professions, different ages, different races. This is what it looks like to come together, and this is what we need our community to do on a regular basis. We need them to come together, especially when we're dealing with violent crime. We've had a significant impact in violent crime over the last six months due to the great work of the men and women of the Lynchburg Police Department and the many, many partnerships that we have in our community. But as much as we've done with those relationships and with driving down violent crime numbers, we still have unsolved homicides that you just heard about. What we need is our community to come forward. The plea is very simple. We know there are people in the community that have information related to these crimes. We need them to step up and come forward. And I've said this before, but I'll say it again. If this was your daughter, your son, your sister, your brother, your mother, your father, and you knew there was someone out there that had information, that could solve these crimes, what would you want them to do? You would absolutely want them to come forward with that information. So that is our ask. We understand that there are concerns with safety for people who have information to come forward, but we have a means to make sure that folks can do that and stay anonymous. We'll talk about that in just a second. These crimes strike every member of our community. They obviously strike the family most closely just put yourself in the shoes of one of these families and imagine this Christmas not having your loved one with you as you go through the holidays. We need folks to have the courage and the commitment to come forward with that information. We know it's going to take courage. We are here as a police department to stand behind you, to support you, and we have a, a variety of uh, detectives that have been working these cases for many, many months. They've put in a lot of hours, they've worked a lot of leads, and they're going to continue to do that. We just need that one piece of the puzzle sometimes that helps us connect all those dots. So that's what we need folks to do in the communities to come forward. One way they can do that is through Crime Stoppers. Crime Stoppers is an anonymous platform that I'm going to introduce Ms. Bonnie Burley Cruz to come forward to speak to you about what it is, what it does, and, and how it can benefit these cases. Bonnie? Central Virginia Crime Stoppers has been operating for over 25 years in this, in this community. And I want you to know of the basics of how it operates. We are made up of citizens who are volunteers in your community. People who want to see the crime rate go down. People who want to see that, um, that we are able to actually make a difference in our own communities. Now, how this program operates is there's two very simple ways to report a tip and remain completely anonymous, completely. In our 25 years of doing this, none of our tipsters have ever, ever been revealed. We take lots of safeguards to make sure that we never know your name. We never know your phone number or your address. All of your information is routed through so many different servers that all you are assigned is a tip number. For example, you might be assigned A123. You give your information, you can do it two simple ways through uh, telephone, and our number is 1-888-798-5900, or the new most popular way to do it is through our new P3 app, which is so simple to download. 
And from the app, you're able to enter information, you can send pictures, but just know that all of this information comes to us as the Crime Stoppers Board, and then we release it to the officers who need that information to follow up. So if at that time your tip does result in an arrest, our board will vote to send you, uh, to make sure that you are rewarded for that tip. And it will be a cash award, and once again, we never, we never reveal anything. You, you walk up to one of our own community board members and say your tip number, and we hand you the envelope full of cash, and you are allowed to leave, no questions asked. So we hope that people in the community will take advantage of this that has been in the works for so many years and has been a proven, proven way to get information to our police department. Thank you. So here's the call to action. I am the mayor, but I'm a mother. I want your cameras to zoom in on these mothers. I want to take a moment of silence and I want you to look at these faces. Lynchburg. These are the faces of broken hearts. The faces of mothers who will never see their children again. A baby who didn't see his seventh birthday. A teenager who didn't see his 17th birthday who won't see his daughter who just turned one. A little brother who won't see his big sisters again. Grief stricken families. And you have answers that they deserve. We have an incredible police department with wonderful detectives who are desperately trying to help these families, and we need your help. I am issuing a call to action to our city. If you have information to help these families, I am begging you to either turn yourself in or to call the Crime Stoppers number with information to help solve these crimes. Samantha Robinson was killed January 21st, 2021, hit by a stray bullet while driving down 12th and Kemper Street, leaving behind her son, Carlos. If you have information on her murder, please call Crime Stoppers. Terion Marshall, 16, was killed March 23rd, 2023 on 16th Street, leaving behind his mother, Tamisha, his daughter, Siblings, if you have information on his murder, please call Crime Stoppers. Kingston Campbell, 16 years, six years old, killed May 1st, 2023. Mother Shay Fowler and two big sisters who missed their baby brother. If you have information on his murder, please call Crime Stoppers. Everyone standing behind me cares about this city. Everyone standing behind me cares about these families. The 40 Ways Coalition members, that's our new name, they are desperately trying to help save lives and change lives. Our sheriff, our Commonwealth's attorney, our police department, the city council, everyone here cares about the lives of every single person in this city. I care about every single person in this city. And we will not stop 
trying to save the lives and change the lives of the children in Lynchburg, because they all matter. Thank you. We will now take questions from media, but please remember that these are active investigations, so be mindful of that when you ask your questions. question for uh, Chief Zudema. I think y'all spoke on this earlier, but a lot of people, I think, are scared for several reasons to come forward with information. Would you be able to just kind of elaborate on, on the safety aspect and, and protection of the identity of people who may be nervous to come forward? Certainly. We absolutely need people to come forward, as you mentioned. You know, Crime Stoppers is really the easiest way for them to do that uh, and remain anonymous. Again, as, as Ms. Cruz said, we get basic information about the crime or the whatever they witnessed or the information they know. We don't ever get any identifying information about the individuals that provided it. Um, and again, this is a, a well-tested program. It's been in existence for over 20 years. Uh, we're going to do everything we can to obviously keep witnesses safe, without a doubt. Um, we've got to have folks step forward. We know it's a courageous thing to do, um, but again, these are cases where we are not there 99% of the time to witness these things that happened. And so, you know, for us to be able to make a successful arrest, and not just an arrest, but then for the Commonwealth Attorney to be able to successfully prosecute, um, we unfortunately are seeing fewer and fewer people in our community uh, that are witnesses that want to step forward, and in some cases, even victims of crime. Um, and, you know, that is a surefire way to guarantee that that type of crime continues if we don't have folks step up. So, uh, again, we know it takes courage to do that. We are certainly here to support them, do everything we can to keep them safe. Uh, Crime Stoppers is a great resource to use for that. At this time, do you know how many people have submitted uh, information or tips? I can't say directly right now how many through Crime Stoppers. I know that our detectives in all the cases we've mentioned have worked dozens and dozens of leads and will continue to do so. Uh, these are not cases that we just put on, on the shelf. Uh, we are continuing to work on them, uh, but we've got to continue to have cooperation from our community to make sure that that happens. I'm just praying that someone will have a convicted spirit. I mean, I understand wanting to protect yourself or protect your child, um, but we need people to just be willing to do the right thing. And that's what I'm praying for. I'm praying for a Christmas miracle, to be honest, that someone will just do the right thing and come forward. So that's, that's why I'm doing this. It's just a plea to our city to come forward because it's just, um, it breaks my heart for these families. And I know that there are other families in our city that have gone through the same thing, um, but we gotta start somewhere, just chip, chip away one at a time, and that's what we're trying to do. So um, that's what we're hoping for. So thank you so much for being here today. Pray for these families, um, and we just appreciate all the hard work from our police department and our detectives. and. Um, all the people that participate in our coalition that believe in the future of the children of our city. We want, we want every single child in Lynchburg to have a safe future. So thank you so much. Have a great day.